high students. Now we have one more portion to complete the chapter. Now we are going to find the zeros of a cubic polynomial and relation between the zeros and coefficients of a cubic polynomial, isn't it? Now let us discuss it with an example. Let us see how to find the zeros of a cubic polynomial and what are the relation between the zeros and the coefficients of a cubic polynomial. Let the cubic polynomial p of x is equal to x cube plus 2x square minus x minus 2. Now find the p of 1. 1 cube plus 2 into 1 square minus 1 minus 2. That is 1 cube is 1 plus 2 minus 1 minus 2 that is equal to 0. Therefore, 1 is a 0. 1 is a 0 of p of x. Now, let me check p of minus 1. The minus 1 the whole cube of plus 2 into minus 1 the whole square line. Minus minus 1 minus 2. So, minus 1 2 into 1 plus 1 minus 2. That is minus 1 plus 2 plus 1 minus 2 that is 0. Therefore, x is equal to minus 1. Minus 1 is a 0 of p of x. Here 1 is the 1 and minus 1 are zeros of p of x. Now let me check. x is equal to 2 p of 2. 2 cube plus 2 in u 2 square minus 2 minus 2. 2 cube is 8 plus 8 minus 2 minus 2. That is uh, 16 minus 4, 12, which is not equal to 0. Next, uh, we are going to check p of minus 2. p of minus 2 is minus 2 the whole cube plus 2 into minus 2 the whole square minus minus 2 minus 2. So, that is minus 8 plus 2 into 4 plus 2 minus 2 minus 8 plus 8 plus 2 minus 2 that is equal to 0. Therefore, minus 2 is also a 0 of p of x. Therefore, x is equal to minus 1 plus 1 and minus 2 minus 1, 1 and uh, minus 2 are zeros of of the cubic polynomial cubic polynomial cubic polynomial means a polynomial whose degree is 3 cubic polynomial x cube plus 2x square minus x minus 2 isn't it? this way we can find the zeros of a cubic polynomial. Now let me check the zeros and the coefficients. For which we have a formula. If p of x is equal to ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus b be a cubic polynomial and uh, here let be a cubic polynomial. If alpha, beta and gamma, beta and gamma be the zeros of P of X, a cubic polynomial 
has three zeros. A quadratic polynomial has two zeros. A linear polynomial has one zero, isn't it? If alpha, beta, and gamma be the zeros of p of x, then then sum of zeros, sum of zeros, alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to minus b by d. That is minus one into coefficient of x square divided by coefficient of x x cube coefficient of x square divided by coefficient of x cube coefficient of x square is minus b by d isn't it now sum of the product of sum of the product of zeros two at a time sum of the product of zeros two at a time that is alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha that is equal to c by a that is coefficient of x divided by coefficient of x divided by coefficient of x cube that is sum of the product of zeros two at a time is alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha which is equal to c by a that is equal to coefficient of x divided by coefficient of x cube is it now third relation is product of zeros product of zeros alpha beta gamma is equal to alpha beta gamma is equal to minus d by a that is minus 1 into constant term minus 1 into constant term divided by coefficient of x cube isn't it this is the product of zeros alpha beta gamma is equal to minus b by a you should practice only this result minus b by a then c by a then minus b by a now need to write in its expanded form only this much is needed minus b by a c by a and minus b by a is it now we can verify the zeros of this polynomial and its coefficients here p of x is x cube of us here p of x is x cube plus 2x square minus x minus 2 therefore a is equal to 1 b is equal to 2 c is equal to minus 1 b is equal to minus 2 let us see the zeros of p of x zeros of p of x are minus 1 1 and uh, minus 2 isn't it now first one sum of zeros sum of zeros alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to minus 1 plus 1 minus 2 that is equal to minus 2 plus 1 and minus 1 get cancelled here minus 2 can be as minus 2 by 1 2 is b therefore it becomes minus b by b that is alpha plus beta plus gamma sum of zeros is equal to minus b by a isn't it now 
alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha sum of the product of zeros to taken to a table alpha into beta here alpha is alpha is minus 1 beta is uh, 1 gamma is minus 2 that is minus 1 into 1 plus 1 into minus 2 plus minus 1 into minus 2 that is minus 1 minus 2 plus 2 that is minus 1 and uh, minus 1 can be written as minus 1 divided by 1 minus 1 is c divided by a c by a isn't it sum of the product of zeros taken to a data now alpha beta gamma product of zeros product of zeros is minus 1 into 1 into minus 2 it is minus into minus plus 2 and uh, it can be written as minus of minus 2 divided by 1 that is minus 2 is d or minus d by this is a minus d by a that is the product of zeros isn't it this way we can find the zeros of a cubic polynomial and uh, relation between zeros and coefficients isn't it now let me take another question verify that 3 minus 1 minus something 3 are the zeros of p of x is equal to 3x cube minus 5x square minus 11x minus 3 also verify the relation should be given zeros and coefficients here to find zeros to check whether p is a zero of p of x put find the p of 3 p of 3 is 3 cube of minus 5 into 3 square 11 minus 3 so 27 into 3 81 minus 54 45, 9 plus minus 33 minus 3 that is 8, 3, 81 uh, 78, 81 is equal to 0 therefore 3 is a 0 of P of X isn't it similarly find P of minus P of minus 1 is 3 into minus 1 the whole cube of 5 into minus 1 the whole square minus 11 into minus 1 minus 3 3 into minus 1 the whole cube is minus 1 minus 1 into minus 1 into minus 1 minus 5 into minus 1 the whole square is 1 plus 11 minus 3 which is equal to minus 3 minus 5 minus 8 plus 11 minus 3 that is equal to 0 therefore minus 1 is a 0 of p of x isn't it now p of 5 p of minus 1 by 3 3 into minus 1 by 3 the whole cube minus 5 into minus 1 by 3 the whole square minus 11 into minus 1 by 3 minus 3 so this is 3 into minus 1 by 27 minus 5 into 1 by 9 plus 11 by 3 minus 3 so minus 1 by 9 
327 cancel to minus 5 y 9 plus here I am writing multiplying goes numerator and denominator by 3 33 divided by 9 here also multiplying by 9 27 by 9 isn't it now the denominators are the same write the numerators as it is so minus 1 minus 5 plus 33 minus 27 divided by 9 minus 1 minus 5 minus 6 minus 27 minus 33 plus 33 by 9 that is equal to 0 by 9 is equal to 0 therefore minus 1 by 3 is also a 0 of p of x isn't it that is 3 minus 1 and minus 1 by 3 are zeros of this polynomial. Now we have to verify the relationship between zeros and coefficients. Here a is equal to 3, b is equal to minus 5, c is equal to minus 11, and d is equal to minus 3. If alpha, beta, and gamma be the zeros of p of x then alpha is equal to 3 beta is equal to minus 1 and gamma is equal to minus 1 by 3 isn't it now, alpha plus beta plus gamma is equal to sum of zeros. 3 plus minus 1 plus minus 1 by 3. 3 minus 1 is 2 minus 1 by 3. 6 cross multiplying we have 6 minus 1 by 3. That is 5 by 3. And uh, 5 by 3 can be as minus 1 into minus uh, 5 by 3, that is minus b by a. Now, sum of the product of 0 state control at time, that is alpha beta plus beta gamma plus gamma alpha is equal to 3 into minus 1 plus minus 1 into minus 1 by 3 plus 3 into minus 1 by 3 so minus 3 minus into minus plus 1 by 3 here 3 and 3 will cancel the minus 1 1 by 3 minus 3 minus 1 minus 4 now cross multiplying we have 1 minus 12 divided by 3 minus 11 by 3 Minus 11 is C, 3 is A, so it becomes C by A. Sum of the product of zeros taken to a time is C by A. Now, product of zeros is alpha, beta, gamma is equal to 3 into minus 1 into minus 1 by 3. Here it is 3 into minus 1 into minus 1, 3 divided by 3. 3 by 3 can be written as minus 1 into minus 3 divided by 3. That is minus 1 into minus 3 is d divided by a that is minus d by a. Isn't it? This is the relation between zeros and coefficients. Can you follow this? Now I will give some homework then you will get clear idea. Okay.